Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for will there be new love or extra turns? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let's jump right in here. So first, we're going to be looking at new love, then extra turns. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so the timing of this video is whenever you click on this video, the video is meant for you. So, does cancer have huge potential for new love? Does cancer have huge potential for new love? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we're starting off with the current situation here. It looks like there is some sadness, heartache. Okay, someone feels heartbroken over you with the Three of Swords energy. Okay, let's keep going here, Cancer. That's the current. All right. Let's move this out of the way. All right, so we got this hat, heartache and sadness. Let's get more information here, Cancer. This is the current situation here. We're asking the question. We have different spread uh, questions here. I'll go over each one, don't worry, okay? All right, so does cancer have huge potential for new love in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Current here. Someone really wants a sigh of relief from this heartache and sadness here. All right, does cancer have huge potential for new love in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to there seems to be something that's confusing, clouding someone's judgment. Does cancer have huge potential for new love and extra months? Show my cards need to see. Show my cards need to see. Let's see. Cancer. There is somebody who is really trying to put the effort into this connection. Let's go further, Cancer. Does cancer have huge potential for new love? Show me cards you need to see for the next three months. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. I see something that happened. Maybe somebody's angry or frustrated or something toxic about a relationship. Okay, caused some kind of heartache. Someone wants some sigh of relief. They were clouded in their judgment. Want to put the effort into this. Okay, let's keep going. What's your blockage? High Priestess. So blockage for new love is some air of mystery, some unknowns. Some of you guys also, you may not be listening to the signs or paying attention to the signs of your intuition here, okay? So, and needing to go after what you want because of a lot of emotions. And we see that you guys feel like there's something about, it's all about luck. when it comes to commitment, engagement, or marriage. So the blockage is listening to your intuition and going after what you want. Not letting your emotions run away with you here. And knowing it's something about luck or timing when it comes to a commitment, engagement, or marriage. Okay. Some of you guys could have been coming off of a toxic marriage. I know that's very specific. All right. What's the foundation here? So the foundation is you guys get a lot of attention here with the Six of Wands, whether you're aware of it or not. You can see here, guys, you are getting attention. Here you are. People are like noticing you, looking at you, all right? You are ruled by the moon. So we see, but there's this concern about being used. And we see something about lack of communication, letter message documents and concerns about breakup. Okay, let's keep going. So what happened in the past? Someone looks like they lied to you or there was something deceptive or something hidden about the situation or some unknowns there with the Seven of Swords energy, sneaky slyness, which caused some kind of, you know, really stuck, stagnant energy there. 
person could have been far away. There could have been travel involved with this situation, longing distance going on here. And concerns about some kind of new love in the past. Okay, so far, what do we got? We see some kind of anger, frustration, or toxic relationship. We see a commitment, engage your marriage, and a breakup for new love. Hmm. Okay. Let's just go a little further. Let's get more information here. Does Cancer have huge potential for new love in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So in the current, you guys are starting to realize your value and your worth. We've got the Swan card. You're kind of thinking about things. There's a path opening up here, but there's still some kind of healing going on. And so, because there's so many emotions that it's like, there's a lack of courage, strength, or confidence. Okay, so what's your goals here? Obviously you wanna be happy. You want some kind of success here. And this is attractive energy, like the Queen of Wands. And maybe also some of you guys are concerned about an infringing party and some kind of criticisms. You see something about money, finance, or something of value here? Still trying to heal and release from a situation, a new situation. Okay. Let's keep going here. So what's going to happen in the immediate future? Again, I see you guys are so attractive here because we got, <laughs> you guys are getting attention here. Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Someone is trying to give you some kind of advice or you guys are accepting someone's advice or you're really helping someone out here. Interesting, in your romantic love life. This can represent a doctor, a lawyer. Okay, maybe someone you're, you're dealing with here, counselor. There's something very attractive about the situation. Yep, main person. They're checking you out. They're noticing you in the immediate, okay? Yep, there's some kind of really good communication here in the immediate future. And it's just concerns about how do I take a risk on this situation? How do I open things up to take this risk? Okay. There's someone you're interacting with on an everyday basis there. Whether that be a doctor, a lawyer, okay, a counselor. Um, yeah, someone in your life in the immediate future is like looking at you like, wow, cancer is so attractive. How do I just open things up to take this risk? Oh my God, I'm really, I'm really feeling them like that. I really think they're really sexy, really attractive. All right, what's going on with your um, subconscious? You're still in this mode of ruination of plans, still getting over some things, trying to kind of just figure this out to come, come out of this 10 of swords kind of energy. Some of you guys are trying to follow your intuition, wanting a spiritual partner here with the spiritual card when it comes to romance. Yeah, some of you guys really want to deal with some unfinished business here from the past or subconsciously it's still there, whether you're aware of it or not. And you know what I'm, I'm talking about, guys, like for instance, so let's say someone brings up this old, uh, person that you had, were with before. And all of a sudden you just get this welling up of like either anger or emotions. That means subconsciously that person still triggers you and there's still unhealed things that have to be worked out. Because when you are completely healed, you do not get triggered by that person. Okay, so you're trying to realize your value and your worth and, you know, seeing that there could be a very positive future here. Okay, so, so far we got, I've been thinking about this situation. There's some path for some kind of enjoyment, but there's healing of some kind of chaotic situation. It's like trying to overcome this emotional blockage obstacle and releasing some things from the past. We see if someone wants to take a risk here to embrace the future because they find you very attractive. So if that breakup isn't to do with you, it could be to do with them. Okay, so let's keep going. So the influence is, there's a lot of soul searching going on here with the Hermit card energy about this friendship here and concerns about some type of disappointment, okay? Because of concerns about maybe a reconciliation or healing or an apology that may come to light here. 
Okay. That's the influence. So what's going on with your hopes and fears? Surprising uh, opportunity offer. Concerns about some kind of infringing party. Feeling like I want to go in the right direction. There's something unexpected about the situation and trying to have some kind of success here. Okay, so answering the question now, and then we're gonna bring it all together as a whole picture. Answering the question now, do you have huge potential for a new love coming up here in the next three months? Oh yes, Ace of Cups. Yes, Cancer, you have potential for new love, and it's definitely showing that there's a want to have a conversation here. You see that? The two birds up here wanting to have a conversation. There's definitely someone's like, oh my goodness, I'm really on. You know, I'm really, really thinking about cancer and there's love here. Okay, so there's definitely potential there for love. Okay, yep, joyful celebration. It's just you have to get the answers. You haven't got the answers yet. You're about to get some answers. There's concerns about this being a passionate hookup and wanting to reveal some kind of truth. Okay, so it's like you're, you're, there's this uncertainty about where it's going to go, but believe me, there's love there. Ace of Cups. Okay, so someone finds you very attractive. There's a passionate opportunity coming up, and we see there's a sense of healing around this situation. So someone, either you or the other person's come off some kind of relationship. And we see it's like there's a lack of courage, strength, or confidence because they're still releasing of some things from the past and there's a change of seasons here. And we see that, all right, things have opened up. Should I take this risk? I really find cancer really attractive. I see there could be a potential for a positive future here. I want to bring things to light here towards a sense of success and speak my truth. But you can also see there's some other things going on here. And let's talk about it. Okay, so we got this frustration, anger over a marriage or a, another long-term commitment and a breakup. We see this new love and we see something around money and finance, as I said. A counselor, a lawyer, a doctor there. Okay, and we see lots of great communication, wanting to uh, unfinished, deal with some unfinished business. We see an apology, a reconciliation, or a healing energy which could cause so it's like because of this breakup that's going on along the lines here it's going to bring this other situation in and it could end up in a passionate situation which could form into this new love here okay you guys see what i'm talking about because it gives you a scenario around the new love situation you can see it's like there is something about somebody paying somebody, maybe doctor, lawyer, one of those kinds of things, okay, counselor, and it, and because of the sharing of the, the breakup stuff, that's what's going to form this connection. All right, so there's effort being put in. It's a luck situation, letter, message, document, and um, we see movement and change and longing and some criticisms. We see main person romance about disappointments and then moves into a direction towards answers. Mm hmm going further confusions about money and finance someone is uh, being of service or help we see there's a stuck energy because of infringing party we see someone is giving some advice we see something in someone's intuition here we see it's some kind of spiritual sign we see a friendship Con concerns about this infringing party but we see this joyful energy celebration happiness okay now let's keep going here yeah we can also go down further with the um lenormand as well Let's see, happiness, reconciliation, something comes to light. We see worries and concerns, jealousy, wanting to gain some kind of control, shock and surprise about this long time, wisdom, patient energy, cutting away something long time. Okay, so let's keep going. So we see this heartache and sadness. And we see this intuition about this attention. We see something sly or slick. We see success and happiness, 
getting a lot of attention, ending a tough cycle, lots of soul searching, and surprised about this opportunity offer and potential for love, Ace of Cups energy. Okay, let's get you guys some advice. Can I ask advice from my cancers when it comes to new love? They really want new love. What can they do at this time for that success of that? Cards need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Don't worry. It's nothing to feel bad about. Congratulations on your abundance. We see you dealing with the grief and forgiveness when it comes to these delays and challenges. So it's saying that, yes, there's some things that they're going to be resolved here when it comes to healing, right? But it could, could cause some delays and challenges. We see concerns about jealousy and trust when it comes to helping. Things will come into order or structure towards purpose and have a sense of peace here. There's no need to worry. Be patient. There's no one to blame. Okay, we see careful about pride getting in the way. Bring that into balance. You're going to be able to preserve a situation. Concerns about some kind of denial because of a reconciliation of a relationship. We see this friendship and you have the freedom of choice here to accept this towards happiness. Okay, my beautiful cancers. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, we're going to move into your extra turns now. All right, so does cancer have huge potential to reconcile with their ex love interest in the next three months? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so let's take a look at what happened in the past. All right, so what happened in the past? There was this very cautious energy, very defensive energy. Someone was really debating their emotions. It seemed like there was a lot of work or effort here with the Eight of Pentacles energy. Somebody maybe worked too much. Okay, let's see. Does Cancer have huge potential to reconcile with their ex love interest in the next three months? Show my cards you see. Show my cards you need to see. There is a lot of regrets about what happened, this hopeful energy with some kind of communication. So there was some kind of loss of communication or effort in communication. Does Cancer have huge potential to reconcile with their ex love in the next three months? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see here, Cancer. Main person. There was desires, but there was a lack of effort. So there was these temptations, these desires, but someone wasn't putting forth enough effort. Okay. So what's going on in the current now? So someone wants to speak their truth in the current about the naivete, the immaturity, and wants to listen to their intuition or there's some kind of synergy, some kind of um, things that seem to be giving some spiritual signs. In the current, it seems like there's some sly slick energy, but we see there's something spiritual here and we see some kind of spiritual messages and a want to bring things together. Interesting. You see, receiving something of value and concerns of a loss because of this party, this celebration, this hanging out. Hmm, interesting. So someone wants to speak about the immaturity or they have new perspective over a situation. Let's see. So how does your person feel about you? Your person is thinking about the past they're reminiscing about the past and realizing they messed up with the Five of Swords energy. And it's like overwhelming them. They feel like it's weighing heavy on them with the Ten of Wands energy. This person feels like you're like home to them and they're really surprised about this, how foolish they feel. This person feels that you're their love, you know, the love of their life. Yeah, they're looking at you, main person, and they realize that there's a loss here. OK, 
Okay, let's keep going. So how does this person feel about reconciling? Oh my goodness, magician, six of wands. This person does feel like you're like a spiritual connection for them or like a soulmate connection or twin flame connection for them. They're like, there's, there's a manifestation going on here to get your attention. Like they want to wield their power. Like they want you to see them as the ideal partner and to get your attention to bring things back together in a relationship here. This person is cautious. They're trying to get someone's help. We see maybe they even offer something to do with money or finance or there's something about money and finance here. Okay, let's keep going. Yep, friendship, loyalty, devotion. When the timing is right, they want to have a sense of happiness, success. Hmm. They're realizing you have all the tools they need here. And they're restrictive or cautious because of a friend. They want your attention. They want a victory here. There's concerns about being used, and we see luck, timing, this relationship, money and finance, and we see wants some kind of success here. So definitely you see there's a lot of cards saying yes towards this reconciliation for this person. Okay, what's your advice? When the timing is right, you're going to have to figure out what you want here. Do you want to go this way or do you want to go this way when it comes to your desires? You need to think about this. You have to go after what you want when it comes to loyalty and devotion um, for something to change. You're about to be shocked and surprised about love. It's going to be a happy surprise. Okay, so then answering the question, is there potential for you to reconcile with your ex-love interest? Yes, there's huge potential. Ace of Pentacles is coming out. But there's still a lot of confusion about the reconciliation. There's potential for it, but there's still a lot of confusion about what somebody wants. Seven of Cups energy. But there, your ex wants to hold on to this for Pentacles energy. We see that there's this commitment to taking a leadership role here because of love. We see there's something about this breakup and some air of mystery here. And we see communication. So someone's going to try to communicate here. Mm, something hidden, something yet to be known. Okay, so there's some huge potential we see, right? And we see that there's this huge potential and because of love. So there's a strong want to take control of this because of love, but you can see there's huge potential for the reconciliation, but I think that you guys are like at the place where you're like, this is you. I feel like your energy is like, I don't know if I want this seven of cups energy. And your person's like, I really want to hold on to you. But you're like, do I want to hold on to this? Because there could be a lack of forgiveness here also for the four of pentacles energy. Okay, let's see. So we see there's strong desires to bring things back together because there's love in this relationship and there's success and happiness and a happy gift or some kind of gift that's going to make you happy when it comes to some kind of letter, message, document, uh, maybe even something that's mailed to you there. Okay, so we see this communication about this party, this celebration and a sense of foolishness. We see money and finance and loyalty towards love. Cautiousness, but somebody wants to speak to you. This person wants to speak to you about things to do with the past to get your attention. There's a lot of thinking, planning, thinking about you, long-term planning, and how to hold on to this for Pentacles energy. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my cancers when it comes to their ex-love interest or the highest best, the best possible outcome for them and what they should do if they do want to reconcile with this ex-person? What cards you need to see? Show me the cards they need to see. Okay, your emotions may run a high here, but the ending of a tough cycle is going to approach and you can resolve a personal situation here. I would say take some time out to think about this, meditate, contemplate. Remember, this needs to be an equal give and take. So if you put effort in, they have to put effort in too. Adjustments will be required in this connection, but you are good enough. 
And emotionally, nothing is set in stone, but you could have a win-win outcome here forecasted. All right, my beautiful Cancers, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.